G'day cocktail lovers, here's something I don't think I've done before, an unboxing. But I felt compelled to when this arrived today because it's a very special whiskey and the box is so cool. This is from a local distillery, Starwood. It's their 15th anniversary single malt. They've actually been operating for 15 years and it comes in this box. It's got like a magnetic seal there. And you open it up and there's the whiskey and a little story that goes with it. A little timeline. It's a timeline of their 15 years as well, saying everything that's happened over that period. And a rather beautiful label on the whiskey itself. This is called Vitalis. It's both reference to the Latin word for life and also a play on the founder David Vitali's family name. It's a very dark whiskey. That's a very special one. You can't get this. It's a bit mean on showing it, really. Even in Australia, this was only available by ballot. You had to enter a ballot and not everyone who entered was going to get one. I was lucky enough to get one. It arrived today and I wanted to share it with you. It's a single malt, but they've selected from a variety of barrels that they thought showcased what they've done with whiskey. Some of the whiskies were aged in red wine barrels, some in a variety of fortified wine barrels. And they've come up with this 52% ABV single malt, which I'm gonna crack the seal on. I'm not hugely into ASMR, but there's two sounds I really love. That pop when you first open a bottle, and the glug 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 when you first pour from a bottle. This is certainly darker than the average Starwood whiskey. I have quite a few Starwood whiskies. I'm very bad with notes on aroma and taste, but I'll do my best. It's very interesting to me. It's less fruity than I was expecting. I'm picking up, for me, it's very much like dark chocolate and coffee notes, but quite sweet. I guess it's time to take the plunge and actually taste. I feel like I'm really tasting the fruit wine notes from the wine barrels that was aged in. It's very warm, unsurprisingly, 52% ABV, but it's not burning, it's not awful. And it's just got a really luxurious, rich sweetness to it. It also has a flavor of raisins and almost tobacco leaf, like not a cigarette smoking, but just that smell of a rich tobacco leaf. All in all, this is a really complex whiskey. Um, it's going to be very interesting to try it a variety of ways. Hardcore whiskey nerds are going to freak out the fact that I intend to use this in cocktails. And I get it, but I'd hate to break it to you fellas. That's how I prefer to drink whiskey. It's actually quite uncommon for me to drink it straight, usually just to taste it and get a feel for it. But this is a very bold whiskey. Uh, still pretty easy to drink for all that intensity that's in there. Uh, and uh, I would like to just give a little cheers to Starwood. It's actually very few distilleries in Australia have been around for that long. In terms of the modern distilleries, uh, it was all started by the Lark Distillery about 30 years ago in Tasmania. Now we have hundreds of independent distilleries across Australia and they're all starting to make their mark. And while you won't be able to get this, I am quite the fan of Starwood whiskies. If you get a chance to get one anywhere in the world, I'd say give it a go. They're very nice whiskies. And now I've got this special one. Maybe I'm making someone jealous. That's mean, isn't it? Ah, well, I guess I'm mean.